Hi, welcome to leatherup.com. I'd like to talk to you about Arai helmets today. In front of me, I have the Arai Signet Q helmet. This is actually their silver edition helmet, but there is a lot of different colors and a lot of different sizes on our website. So please check out the website for the size and the colorway that best suits what you're looking for. So let's talk a little bit about this Arai helmet. Arai is a very traditional Japanese owned company and our set up for quality. Quality in Arai is what their job is. They are basically creating a safety device. A helmet is a safety device. Obviously we wear them on our heads, so they have to be fashionable as well. But the, at the end of the day, this helmet is designed to save your life. And let me tell you why Arai does that. This helmet is actually a completely handmade helmet. There's eight guys in Arai's factory over there that are building all of the Arai helmets for the world. They are very busy eight individuals. But what does that mean for you? That you're getting a top level quality helmet. Somebody is putting their hands on every piece of this helmet every step of the way. And it's not a machine made helmet. So this helmet isn't just running down an assembly line and it's machines punching them out and not checking tolerances. When this helmet goes into a mold, an individual puts the pieces into the mold to create the outer shell. The outer shell is then applied with resin it's double checked from there and passed to the next individual for the next stage of assembly. So you're getting the highest level quality helmet there is out there. So let me tell you a little bit about how that helmet's actually made. They do things differently. They actually chop the fiberglass into random pieces and they're blown into a machine that creates a random matrix or basically a nest at the bottom of it, much like a bird's nest. All these pieces of fiberglass then intertwine with each other creating a very strong outer shell of the helmet. There's two different ways to manufacture a helmet. You can do a soft outer shell, like a polycarbonate or something to that effect, an ABS, and then use a hard inner piece liner, or you can use a very hard rigid outer shell and a softer inner liner. That's the direction that Arai is taking. And let me explain to you why they've taken that direction. Basically the way they're looking at it is we have a nice smooth round 75 millimeter radius all the way across this helmet. And what that's gonna do is glance a crossed object. We want this helmet, when it hits the ground, to glance, not to hit, not to slap, not to have something grab and roll. So when you look at the outer shell of this helmet, there's not a lot of pieces that are sticking up. The pieces that are sticking up for the ventilation are actually double-sided tape on. That's not a bad thing. You're not gonna lose them, they're not gonna come off. But in the event of an accident, the asphalt will tear those away so that the helmet will continue to glance and not grab and cause rotational force. Your body in the event of an accident has velocity behind it. So we want this thing to move across the ground and not hit. Hitting hurts, glancing, a little bit less. So the second way they're gonna manage that energy is with the EPS liner inside. You have a strong rigid outer fiberglass shell. Now we're gonna use a softer EPS liner inside. And size matters guys let me just tell you when it comes down to your helmet it needs to fit properly you need to measure your head and get the right size helmet on i've done a lot of fitment clinics 80 percent of the people out there are running around in the wrong size helmet and the reason they're running around in the wrong size helmet is that you bought it for comfort this helmet feels comfortable you need this helmet to be an extension of your body so keep that in mind when you're checking out your sizing because in the event of a crash if you have room in there you're gonna feel that impact. It's not gonna glance. It's not gonna be one piece. You're gonna have room between your head and that EPS liner. Arai has used a soft EPS liner, so that's gonna help get out of the way in the event of an accident and really absorb the energy that's created inside that helmet. Using a nice smooth outer shell, it also allows that energy to radiate across the shell. There's no ridges in the shell. The only ridges we have are here at the earpiece where the pod system is across the top of the visor, and then you have a hyper ridge at the bottom. That hyper ridge actually adds rigidity to the shell as well. So in the event of an accident, if a fracture was to occur, typically they'll occur at the point of impact. If it was a large enough impact that it would crack the helmet, it will stop at a ridge. So that's why we wanna keep a nice smooth feel to this helmet. We want that energy to travel from one side of the helmet to the other because it dissipates as it moves and doesn't focus that impact on you. Also, Arai on the inside of the helmet has done a lot as far as emergency release systems. They actually have these two large orange tabs here. And on the inside of the cheek pad, there's an orange tab. Those orange tabs indicate to an EMT or somebody working the ambulance that this system is equipped with a quick release cheek pad system. So while the helmet's on, EMT can pull this tab, releasing the cheek pad, 
and now allowing that cheek pad to slide out of the way so the helmet comes off, not aggravating any further injuries that you may have to your neck or something like that. I'm gonna talk a lot about crashes here. I hope that nobody has one out there, but like I said, this is a safety piece and I wanted to explain to you why it is most safe. Now, when we talk about comfort inside this helmet, Arai uses a nice wicking material on the inside, so it's really gonna pull that sweat off. It's not an abrasive feel, it's a very comfortable feel, so Arise have been known to be one of the most comfortable helmets out on the market. When you're on your bike for hours on end, you wanna make sure you have a comfortable helmet on. The interior of this helmet is very plush. It's very comfortable when it's on your head and sized correctly, you shouldn't know it's even there. Ventilation, we need to keep you cool inside that helmet, especially during the summer months. Arai has really addressed the ventilation. We'll start here at the chin bar. There's a quick open, multi-stage. If you wanna half close it, you can. Quick open, it's gonna pull a lot of air in directly into the chin port. Also unique to Arai helmets are these brow vents. This brow vent system can be opened up as well. And that's actually gonna vent right to an interior vent above your brow. If you have a problem with fogging on shields, some people do, some people don't, depending on the climate you're in, you can crack these. That'll typically help with fogging. It creates a little bit of air in there and it'll help with fogging as well. On the Signa Q helmet, Arai has dressed that as well with a pinlock shield and I'll touch on that here in a second. So you have nice brow vents that really pull the air in. Plus you have these top two diffusers here as well. These top two, it's a quick little click on the top. It can be done with gloves on, no problem. But those will actually pull air into the top of the helmet. So we're getting a lot of air in, now we gotta get that air out. And what Arai has done to address that is actually done one click on the back, opens it all the way up so you're getting a lot of air coming out of this helmet. Plus you have this raised diffuser. What that raised diffuser does is actually as the air travels past, it's gonna create a vacuum back here and help draw that hot air out. Uh, you can pack as much air in, but if you can't get it out of there, it's really not gonna go anywhere. So we need to get the hot air out, exit the hot air and make a nice clean flow of air through there. So this raised diffuser definitely helps create that vacuum. Also, you'll notice there's another diffuser down here at the bottom, it does the same thing. It's gonna create the vacuum as that air travels past. Base of the neck roll, same thing. You've got another diffuser here. So they've really done a lot to get that hot air out so you can place that with the cool air. In the winter months when it's chilly out, run these guys closed, you're not gonna have a lot of air coming in and it's gonna keep you nice and toasty. We've all been out there on the bike, you're getting a lot of air in your chest, you're getting a spooling effect under the helmet, you get cold air on the bottom of the cheeks and the front of your chin, rise dress that with a chin bar curtain. It's a quick pull down little deal. It can be done while you're on the bike on the ride and it's gonna help keep that air from spooling up underneath your chin. When you don't need it, you just push it back up and it's out of the way. So definitely an added option if you've got any kind of colder climate. Let's talk a little bit about the shield change on this helmet. This helmet is a very easy shield change system. When you open the shield all the way up, you get two little arms that pop out here on the side. Those little arms, once they're popped out, that's your release mechanism. With the shield closed, it latches down. You come in from behind it, pop it up. Once it comes all the way up, it's gonna release those guys. If it's not all the way up, they won't be visible to you. You will have to dig them out, and that's not the way you wanna do it. So take that shield all the way up. These guys pop out. All you're gonna do is click them up. Once they're clicked up, it's done. Nothing has to happen from there. You just lift the shield off the top of the helmet. Now you've got the shield off. You can get a real thorough clean on that. Definitely, if you need to swap the shield out, you can change it out. They offer all the mirrored options, silver mirror, blue mirror, gold mirror, uh, purple mirror as well. We have a light smoke, a dark smoke, a clear replacement, and then what the Signet Q comes with that the other Arai helmets don't, the Pinlock. The Pinlock shield is actually a really nice shield. I have one sitting here that does not have film on it, so I can show you, but there's actually a recessed area in the back side of this Pinlock visor. And what that allows you to do is then add a second piece in here. So it's gonna come with a high-vis yellow, I believe it, the helmet comes with, but you can purchase clear, tinted, all that. Those clip in the back here, now it's created a double pane. So for you guys that are riding in the cooler climates, a double pane is gonna be just like a double pane window in your house. It's not gonna fog in between when it gets colder outside. Pin locks for the winter months, definitely a great investment. Take a look at it with the Signet Q, you don't need to worry about that, it actually comes with. So replacing that shield, it's gonna go back on exactly the way it came off. You're gonna go back in the same direction, stick it on, close it. When you open it back up, those arms pop back out, you did everything correctly. If not, just remove it, pop it back in again. Sometimes you need to rotate the top of it. I don't feel it's necessary. They typically will come right off and go right back on the way they came off. The noise you're hearing is the actual shield engaging to the mechanism inside. 
Don't worry, you're not gonna break it. It's gonna make noise and that's okay. Just rotate it, close it, lift it back up and you're good to go. So for sizes, colors, please check out our website at leatherup.com. If you have any questions, please contact our staff and they'd be happy to answer them for you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.